Hi everyone, this is Mervin Matthew from Sound Canva. Welcome to the second episode of Chord Anatomy. Here we are going to discuss about power chords. So what are power chords? Power chords are really powerful chords. In a way, if you can think like that, it's really powerful. And it's really straightforward chord, which only has only two notes. Or it can be called as a two-note chord or dyad. Certain people do consider this chord as just an interval. In the early episode, the first episode, it is there in my playlist. Please do check it out where we discuss about all the intervals possible on a on a keyboard or even music. So if you can clearly understand it, all the things which we discuss now will be much more clear. And this chord has only two notes, the root note and the fifth note. If you take the C as the root, and if you can take the fifth note, G is the fifth note. And if you play it in the melodic way, you get like this. Harmonically, it's like. So these two note chord is called as a power chord. When and how you'll use it. This power chord has got a lot of uh, characteristics associated with it. Because it's very simple, because it only has two notes. And it is very straightforward. And the notes doesn't have that sort of uh, independence when it is played together. So it has that consonant kind of sound. Because you are using the uh, root and the fifth together. So melodically, if you can use it, it it has a very uh, interesting, powerful nature to it. Uh, say, for example, if you take the main theme from this movie, Jurassic Park, the fifth interval is used melodically very well, and it has this distinct feel. I'll just demonstrate it. So these two intervals are actually the fifth intervals, and melodically, the fifth is being used very well. And the tune is like this. A lot of iconic movie themes are being composed with this fifth interval because it has that sort of open, powerful feel to it when played melodically. Tara, tara, you get that open, big sound. That is the main speciality when you use it in melodic context. Or if you can use it harmonically. Mostly the metal guitarists, electric guitarists use it a lot because it's quite easy to play it in guitars. When they play it in guitars, it's played like the root fifth and root above the octave. It's like... It's very straightforward, it's very, very much onto your face and it's very powerful. So that is the main feature of this chord and you can use it with any kind of voicings. Voicings are nothing but distribution of the notes of the chords to different voices or to different instruments. So please keep all these things in your mind and use these things to your taste. And the next main advantage of this chord is it doesn't have a minor flavor or a major flavor because you don't have uh, notes which can go in a minor way or a major way. So you only have two notes and these notes are very much felt consonant. So please do experiment with it. And I really want you guys to play this fifth chord intervals on every key so that it becomes much more thorough or it becomes much more fluent. So it becomes much more easier for you to use it in pretty much any context you really want. So with that being said, please do practice it. Bye.